Hello guys and welcome to part 7. So before we continue any further, I want to add a quick and easy mirror material which is going to help us evaluate how the full body IK is behaving when we move around in room scale and how it behaves in the game. So in order to do this, I'm going to create a new folder for this and call this mirror. And I'm going to create a cube render target. I'm going to call this my cube render target. And then under mode, I don't believe you can see this right now. Let me just expand that. So switch to modes and type in cube. And here we will find a scene capture cube. Now this is represented as a camera here. So the way it works is that you can switch to details with this selected and then you can drag on the cube render target here onto the texture target. So that is going to put anything that the camera sees onto this cube render target. So in order to create a mirror we are going to need a material. So create a material and call this M mirror and open that up. So in here we want to drag in the my cube render target and that's going to create a texture sample for us which we will connect up into the emissive color. And then it's going to complain that it's missing UVs so you can use the reflection vector in world space and drag that onto the UVs. And that's basically all you need to do here. So it's really simple in material. So the next thing we're going to do is grab something. I'm just going to use this cube over here behind. And I'm going to select this and also select the blocking volume inside with uh, pressing shift. And then I'm going to alt drag this over here. So you can put it wherever you want. I'm also going to zero out the C rotation because it's where I want to have it and then scale it down a little bit so it looks more like a mirror. The next thing I'm going to do is to take this scene capture cube and drag it on to the middle of this cube here and then rotate it so it's pointing forward. So I'm going to put it somewhere like here. And see if I can position it in the middle. And all we need to do now is to drag on the material to the cube and then we have a mirror. So you will notice that the resolution of the mirror is kind of pixelated and a way to do this make it better is to click the render, cube render target and here you can see there's a resolution of 256 and you want to maybe set this up to 20, 1024. And that's going to make the image way more crisp. It's also going to affect the performance, so you want to be careful setting this too high. But I'm using this mainly for testing purposes, so I don't really care about it right now. So all I need to do now is to give it a test. So let's hit play and see how it looks. Alright, so as you can see this really helps us evaluating how things behave and work when we do certain moves in room scale and that is going to be really helpful also in the future videos. So 
that was actually what I wanted to show in this video. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye bye.